what I found. It's a rock and it sparkles. I'll wet it so you can have a better look. Look at it. Isn't it a beauty? Hey, maybe you collect rocks when you're out investigating. Well, this one's definitely going in my collection. It's cool. But here's a question. What makes some rocks sparkle, hmm? The minerals inside it. And from the sand. Crystals and as well as they can be wet. The sand. Crystals inside them. Um, the sun reflects on the rock. We've been hit by the waves so many times. The sun. The diamonds and the, the crystal in them. Some parts of it are shiny and it reflects. The sunlight and what they're made out of. Hey, you could be right. But what if those rocks sparkle because inside them they have rock stars? <laughs> No, not those kind of rock stars. Lots of little rock stars. No, 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 forget the heavy metal stuff. What I mean is that those rocks are sparkling because of tiny little stars, like stars in the night sky. No? OK, then. Well, maybe some rocks sparkle because they have jewels inside them. Jewels like diamonds. What if this rock has diamonds in it? Yeah, well, what are we waiting for? Let's get those diamonds out. Come on! It's not so easy to break a rock open. But maybe there's another way of looking at rocks to find out what they're made of. Maybe we only have to look at the outside. Now, it just so happens that I have here a rock called granite. And like most rocks, it's pretty rock solid. Get it? Rock solid? <clears throat> OK, now, like most rocks, it's made up of a mixture of different minerals. And if we look closely, you can see that granite is made up of small grains of different colours. Each colour is a different mineral. Minerals are substances that aren't alive and have never been alive. They're the chemical building blocks for all the rocks in the world. The tiny white bits are a mineral called quartz. The pink grains are called feldspar and the grey black bits are mica. Sometimes you find granite that's got lots of feldspar in it and that makes it a more pinky colour and other granites might have lots of black mica or mostly white quartz. It's a bit like when you buy lolly mixtures. Some mixtures have lots of jet planes in them and some have hardly any jet planes in them at all. But the jet planes in other lollies are like the minerals in rocks. Some lolly mixtures look different from others because of the different combinations of sweets. And some rocks look different than others because of the different combinations of minerals. And it doesn't matter which mixture you get your jet planes from, because they always taste the same. Mmm, exactly the same, because they're always made with the same recipe. And it's the same with minerals too. They're made with the exact same recipe called a chemical formula. And that's why they're the building blocks of rocks. OK, you can have one now. A lolly, I meant! You know, my mum's always telling me to eat plenty of vitamins and minerals. Well, I tell you what, this mineral mixture doesn't look anywhere near as exciting as my lolly mixture, but it will probably be better for my teeth. Maybe not. You know, the minerals that you need in your diet aren't just found in things like rocks. Oh, no. Soil is made up of all kinds of things, including tiny, tiny, broken down bits of rock. And when plants are growing in the soil, they absorb microscopic minerals. So, if you want the minerals that you need in your diet, you'd be far better off eating something like a carrot than you would a rock. See the white flecks in the granite here? That is quartz. And it's really easy to find rocks with quartz in them. 
even huge quartz crystals like these. Because quartz is the most common mineral on Earth. It's as common as mock. In fact, you don't just find quartz in rocks. You can find it in sand too because quartz is really, really hard. And when other rocks are crushed and broken down and washed away, the quartz is left behind to make sand. Here's some more quartz. Do you think it looks like a glass bottle? Well, funny that, because it is. Glass is made of quartz and a few other minerals. And how you make it is you take some common old sand, just like the sand from the beach, and you heat it to a really high temperature. The temperature and the heating time need to be very exact. You heat the sand so hot that it melts and becomes liquid. Liquid sand. Can you imagine it? And then you cool the liquid sand again. But it doesn't go back to being solid sand. When the liquid sand cools, it forms glass. So glass is made of sand. And remember, sand is made of quartz. Pretty useful stuff, quartz. You want to see some more quartz? Well, check these out. These are special because they're quartz crystals. And crystals are minerals that come in repeating, regular and geometric shapes, like this one here. But look, they come in all different shapes and sizes and colours, and they are just amazing. So, what have we found out? Well, we've found out that rocks are made up of a mixture of minerals. And some minerals are sparkly. So if you find a rock that sparkles, part of its mixture must be a sparkly mineral. And if you find a sparkly rock, chances are it has quartz in it. Because quartz is sparkly and it's one of the most common minerals in the world. Hey, maybe you could become a rock hound. <laughs> you know, you could always sniff out some interesting rocks next time that you're at the beach or in your backyard. <laughs> Hey, if you find some sparkly rocks, why don't you keep them in a glass of water? Because water reflects light and it makes the rocks look really sparkly. You could also put nail varnish on your rocks or you could just leave the rocks the way they are. And if you find a really good place to find rocks, why don't you write and let me know? If you'd like information about this program, or if you have questions you'd like answered, you can write to us at Susie's World, PO Box 34307, Birkenhead, Auckland, or head to the website, www.susie.co.nz. You know, sometimes whole buildings are made out of rocks. Churches, banks, even statues can be made out of rocks like granite and limestone. You know, I wonder if there's enough room in my collection for a statue. Or how about a tiny bank? A little church? Oh well. Hey, good luck with your rock collection. And if you're having trouble finding rocks, maybe you could collect pebbles instead. They're a great collection. See you next time. Kaki there. Mm. I have hardly any jet planes at all. But jet planes and lollies are a lot like them. <laughs> you know, sometimes whole buildings are made out of rocks. Churches. What's the other one? Statues. Statues and the other one? Banks. Banks. <laughs> Rolling. Hey, maybe if you find some sparkly rocks, you could keep them in a glass of water. This program was brought to you by New Zealand On Air.